by Femi Babafemi. Dash. A 56-year-old widow and mother of four, Mrs. Ajisidri Kahinde Sidika has been arrested by operatives of the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, Nli at the Murtala Muhammad International Airport, Gakaja, Lagos over her attempt to traffic 400 grams of cocaine concealed in her footwear to Makkah, Saudi Arabia. The suspect who claims to be a businesswoman trading in adults and children's wares on Lagos Island was intercepted on Sunday 13 November while trying to board a Qatar Airways flight going to Saudi Arabia via Doha. Upon a critical examination of the pair of sandals she was wearing, two parcels of cocaine weighing 400 grams were recovered from them. In the same vein, attempts by a tricycle part seller, Iowati Kande Teo to send 1 kg of tramadol 225 mg and Rohypnol to Istanbul, Turkey via Cairo on an Egypt airline flight same day were also frustrated by Lee operatives who arrested him. He was at the airport to hand over the drugs hidden inside a bag of food items to an intending passenger, Idovu Iowati but was arrested before he succeeded in doing that. An intending passenger to Oman via Eski Airline, Agbamush Brighton Kionye and a lady, Adioye Ayuwekami Fatimo who accompanied him to present a bag containing varieties of foodstuffs and body lotion which were used to conceal 1.10 kg cannabis and some Rohypnol capsules were also arrested at the departure hall of the Lagos Airport on Thursday, 18 November. Anti-narcotics officers attached to the Soko export shed of the airport equally foiled attempts by traffickers to smuggle consignments of cannabis and ecstasy tablets concealed in three tubers of yam going to Dubai, UAE on Wednesday 17 November. The freight agent who presented the yams for export, Iniku Ugochi Akana was promptly arrested while the consigner, Amaju Suleiman was also nabbed thereafter. At the Brawl container shed of Kirikiri lighter terminal in Lagos, the operatives equally intercepted cartons of deadly drinks in a container marked APSU 3671697 during a joint examination with customs. Though the bill of lading indicated that the container originated from Cape Town, South Africa, a search of the, the shipper's database showed it was loaded from Antwerp, Belgium. A full inspection of the container on Thursday, 18 November showed a total of five cartons of beverages labeled as Euphoria Cannabis Beer and three cartons of Cannabis Energy Drink were found. Other drinks in the container include, 21 cartons of a drink labeled as Monkey Shoulder, 20 cartons of Dead Man's Finger, and 139 of Champagne Fruit, among others. In a related development, not less than 5.6 kilograms of methamphetamine, cocaine and tramadol were discovered in items like PlayStation, bicycles, motor propeller and local fabrics packaged for export to Australia and Cyprus through some courier firms in Lagos. Two suspects, Gabriel Amica and Ventura Grillo have been arrested in a follow-up operation linked to one of the seizures. In Niger State, Nli operatives on stop and search operation along Makwa Jeba Road on Saturday 12 November arrested two suspects, Ismail Musa and Jida Abbas with 10,780 bottles of Akuskura, a new psychoactive substance concealed inside two Toyota Camry saloon cars marked AGL 861 G's Lagos and KMK 118 SC Bielsa. The consignment loaded in Ibadan, Wu State, was going to Abuja for distribution. While operatives intercepted 25,000 capsules of tramadol in Plateau and arrested the owner, Ife Anyinwinwe, a beer parlor operator in a follow-up operation in Bauchi, pharmaceutical opioids worth more than N30 million were intercepted in a commercial bus in Asaba, Delta State on Thursday, 18 November. In Ondo State, operatives stormed the Ijari Forest, in Ifador local government area on Friday 19 November where a total of 600.5 kg of cannabis weed and seeds were recovered, while 142.8 kg of the same substance were seized when Lee officers raided the Zone 3 motor park in Wuse area of Abuja. In the same vein, operatives on routine stop and search patrol along the Wario Nietzsche Road arrested a suspect Mwankwo Emanuel, with 25 blocks of cannabis sativa weighing 12.5 kilograms in a commercial bus going to Port Harcourt from Lagos. In his reaction to the arrests and seizures in the past week, Chairman-slash-Chief Executive of Nili, Brigadier General Mohamed Buba Marwa, retired, Khan, OFR, commended the officers and men of the MIA, Tinkan, Delta, FCT, Niger, Ondo, and Plateau Commands as well as those of the Directorate of Operations and General Investigations, Dogi, for their passion, commitment and remarkable efforts to get results in their areas of responsibility. 
he enjoined them and their compatriots across the country to stay focused and resilient in the pursuit of the agency's corporate goal. At Views Exclusive Rights, Femi Babafemi, Director, Media and Advocacy, Lee Headquarters, Abuja, Sunday 20th of November 2022.